oh hi there you know all this one camera one small bag lifestyle that wasn't for me now i'm carrying all my gear all day every day and bringing all my bags because that's the way <laughs> because that's the way i roll now no so hi everyone sam here welcome back to another video and yeah i have a bunch of bags here because this video is going to be all about my camera bags how i like to use them my philosophy when it comes to bags in general uh, I got sent some cool bags from Woltencraft, the sponsor of this video. They uh, sent me this messenger bag. I have a new backpack here. They also sent me some of their new straps, which are really cool. And there's also going to be a giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned to find more out about that. Let's get organized. <laughs> So let's begin this uh, camera bag special. I really brought all my camera bags except one that I somehow lost, which was a Peak Design 10 liter sling. Unfortunately, I don't have it because the zipper broke. This will be a common theme amongst my Peak Design bags. So the reason I want to show you all the bags I'm owning before I show you these new bags from uh, Watercraft is so that you understand where I'm coming from and what I think is important in a camera bag. Maybe this will help you figure out what's good for you. And I want to give you some suggestions how you can use a camera bag. Because I'm not a huge fan of camera bags that look like this. This is uh, one of the first camera bags I ever bought. It's a low pro, fast pack, 25 something. Um, this must be already almost 20 years old by now. It, it doesn't look very sexy, but it did the job. I traveled all over the world with this bag. What's cool about this bag is that you have side access to all of your gear here like that and everything i need to carry usually fits in here and i still have this bag if i want to let's say i'm traveling flying somewhere and i need to bring all my equipment as a carry-on luggage then this is the bag i'm using i don't like to use this for my everyday photography because it's you know a little bulky and does scream camera bag but it served me very well it has a special place in my heart. So that is camera bag number one. <laughs> I'm sorry, low pro. Don't take it personal, <laughs> but it can take a beating. That's the point. Okay. So after this bag, um, what else did I buy? I, bu I bought uh, a Peak Design sling, this here. This is, I think the five liter, everyday sling, five liter. I made a video on my channel about it a long time ago. Yeah, great sling to use for, for a small mirrorless camera, Fuji X100 or something like that, the Leica. And you have still space for maybe a spare or two spare lenses, uh, maybe a GoPro. I liked it a lot uh, when it was not broken because it's so minimal. Unfortunately, the, the zipper here disconnected. How do you say? Yeah, the zipper broke basically. I can't close this bag anymore. I know Peak Design is fixing uh, broken bags for free, but I also kind of moved on with using sling bags. I still like to use sling bags when they're very light and small. I have a different purpose now for sling bags, but for everyday photography, what I do, I prefer backpacks. This one is uh, retiring. Uh, maybe I get it fixed someday, but um, great bag, great value. To be honest, uh, Peak Design, the design of Peak Design bags, I don't, I personally don't like it. I think it looks a little too, too tacky and it's not my jam, you know. But I have one more sling bag that I use uh, a lot, especially in summer. This is, uh, this small two liter sling is from uh, Wandered. This is called the Wandered Fanny Pack D1. Yeah, I like it a lot because it can function as a fanny pack. So I'm a dad now, so. I'm into fanny packs, <laughs> I guess. And that's what I sometimes do. I have it on my waist here to, for example, bring a spare lens when I'm shooting events or something where I need to change lenses quickly. I have this on my waist just to bring batteries, a lens maybe, and then I have my camera on me. What's cool about this is that you can also use it as a regular sling. Uh, it has also some hooks here to make it more comfortable so that it's more comfortable sitting on your back. Um, very minimal, simple. Downside is the inside is black, so I wish they would use some color so it's easier to find your stuff. But this is perfect for a two Rico GR setup. I usually carry two GRs, spare batteries, um, and a GoPro maybe, 
And that's my summer street photography minimal bag. If I don't have pockets, you know, because in summer you don't have a jacket, then you have to use your uh, pants pockets and sometimes you don't have enough space. So this is great for that. So then uh, I moved on to buying smaller backpacks and one backpack I found in Tokyo once in a, at a random department store or shopping mall was this bag here. A lot of people ask me where I got this bag, um, but this is not really for sale outside of Japan. It's called uh, Off Toko. They also have a camera bag version of this bag, which has uh, an, it's black and it's orange inside, but I didn't like the look. And this was also the only one available. I was just looking for a regular bag, not a camera bag. And it was not that expensive, maybe 70 bucks or so. And what's great about this bag is, this is made for like beach trips. So inside here, first of all, you have this side axis. They have something here to protect uh, your stuff from sand. And because this is not a camera bag, it is not really uh, protected well. So I had to include a little bit of foam here. And this is the bottom of this bag. Uh, but this is what you can do, you know, you can buy just a regular backpack or sling bag and then find ways to, to make it a camera bag. Okay, next one. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you. Um, <laughs> I should stop this, this is not nice. These bags served me well, they, they deserve more, more love. It also, unfortunately, has, the, zi the zippers are not very high quality. Yeah, I broke my zipper on my, on my backpack. My wife is trying to fix it. If I close this bag too quickly, then uh, the zipper breaks. So I have to always be very careful. But I replaced it with another backpack, which I'm not going to show you now, because there's one more backpack that I bought that I thought would be a replacement for this one, but ended up being a bag that looked nice online, but once I got it, it was like, uh, it's not really for me. Let me show you. And the bag I'm talking about is this one here, also from Wandered. It's called uh, the Duo, Wandered Duo backpack. Quality-wise, it's a really nice bag. It has uh, a very nice uh, protective surface. You can basically leave this in the rain and your gear will be fine. Uh, what's unique about this one, or you could say it's a little bit of a copy of a Peak Design bag, or I don't know who copied it first. What's unique about this one is that you can open it up completely. I think they're calling it a 270 or, or 270 degrees zipper system, I don't know. But you can see here, I can open it up completely and then it opens up like this, you know, like a Leica camera box. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, definitely something you don't often see. And this is a camera for organization. If you want to bring a laptop and you have lots of cables, little things, um, then this is great. But at the same time, it's still a camera bag. This is for, for cameras here. You can put in a camera or a lens on the other side. What's cool about this bag is, you can say, you know, you know what, today I don't want to bring a camera. You can just do this, not today. And then uh, you carry, I don't know, a pair of shoes or clothes or a jacket. And you can put lenses in here. This is really nice for lenses or for two GRs, perfect. And I'm still going to keep this backpack if I want to go somewhere to work with my laptop. For that, it's, it's actually perfect. What I really like is this one here, a small little pocket to put in your keys or wallet. I put in some batteries here. To be honest, this is not very comfortable. I don't really like carrying this bag. Um, it's also a little stiff. And if you don't pack it, it has a little bit of a dehydrated look, you know, like a, like a date, like dates. They look like this. <laughs> but it's cool if you want to access your cameras from the side because you can do it on both sides because you also have zippers here. So you can, you can do this and you can access your gear. So it's not a bad bag. Uh, it's definitely worth the money, but it's not quite what I was looking for. It's because I was looking for a replacement for this bag, which is soft, small, minimal. Thank you, James. <laughs> now let me show you what I'm currently using. My favorite bag, probably my favorite bag of all times so far. And that is this one here from Temba. This is called the Temba Fulleton 14 liter all weather version. I saw this on Dan Milner's uh, channel. I saw a video where he was preparing for a trip and then he showed this backpack and I thought, wow, this looks so simple. It looked like the bag that I was looking for. And so I researched it a little bit more. I just bought one and I'm so happy with it because 
First of all, it's very slim. It's super light, it's extremely light. It's, it's almost unbelievable how light this is. Size-wise, you know, it's comparable to my small bag here. Uh, not quite, a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Uh, it is weather protected. Um, it has very nice zippers here, weather sealed, a roll top on top, which I never thought I would be a fan of, but it's actually super useful because I often uh, go out with my son and then I can uh, bring all the stuff that he needs and put it in here. And what's also very cool about this bag is that I can fit my, my video camera, my YouTube camera with a microphone on top in here. It's also quite well uh, padded here and close it and it would actually close completely and you wouldn't even know that there's a video camera with a microphone and that's super useful to me because I often need to film stuff right for my channel and I, I can just grab it and film. It can also carry my uh, D850 with even with a 70 to 200 f4 lens I can put this here sideways and this is also another way how I use this bag. This is not really uh, the camera compartment. The camera compartment on this bag is uh, on the back. It is here. And this is, uh, first of all, I thought no side access. Mm, can I live without side access? But this has actually a huge benefit for me personally right now because I'm driving a lot and I have this bag on uh, the passenger seat next to me and I can quickly open it and grab my camera if I need to and take photos out of the window or something like that. So that's super cool. And the zippers here are so smooth. It's so easy to open it. And it, it has enough space for, I can bring a two camera setup, two professional cameras and some lenses and it fits. They also have a 16 liter version and a 10 liter version, I think. Um, but they are too small and too big to me. This is perfect. And you can see here that my D850 actually fits in perfectly here with my 28 1.4. I have space for, for lenses, I have my Ricoh GR here. Very simple and minimal. And then I can put my Nikon ZF here on top if I want to, for example. Yeah, and then on the front here you have, you only have two compartments basically, no, three. One on the top, back, and then this one here. And here you can carry a, probably a 14 inch MacBook, laptop. Uh, I carry my iPad here sometimes. And I carry my batteries here, my SD cards here, some business cards, yeah. I also like how it looks. So this is my current everyday bag. I always leave my house with this bag, even if I don't carry a camera. I have it with me just in case because it's so light. Uh, but I have another camera bag that I'm using daily right now, which is from Wotencraft, which we're now going to talk about. I'm back with the Wotencraft 7 liter pilot messenger that was sitting here. Why did I do this round? I don't know, to keep you guys fixated on this video. <laughs> so as I said in the beginning, Wotencraft uh, sent me these uh, bags. I always wanted to try their messenger bags because I heard so good things about them. And they sent me some camera straps in the past before, which I really liked. So I knew that they're doing high quality stuff. Uh, they are a workshop in tai Taiwan, which is also nice. And uh, let me actually show you also the backpack here. This is a new backpack. It's called uh, the Pilot uh, Backpack. And as you can see that these two bags look very similar. What I appreciate about Wotencraft's uh, bags or products in general uh, is that uh, they look very, how do you say, they look like you're going on a, on a mission, on assignment. You know, when I'm carrying this bag, I feel like I'm, I'm going into, a, I don't know, I'm going to cover an amazing and important story. <laughs> I think a lot of uh, photojournalists also like to use their bags because they are so practical. They have a little bit of this military <laughs> A vibe going on here with all these extra add-ons that we are also going to look at more closely. So I asked them to send me their black camera bags. They also have these bags uh, in a lighter color. You see it here. I will show you their website. Um, also very nice. Um, I just like dark camera bags because it fits better with all my clothes. You know, I'm not a very colorful guy. So let's talk about the Pilot Messenger bag 7 liter first. They also have a three liter, I think even a two liter uh, or two and a half. I don't know, they have many sizes. <laughs> I believe this is an updated version. This is also my first experience using their bag. So if you own uh, an older version of this bag, then uh, I can't really tell you what the updates are, the, the improvements. If I can find it out, I will list some of the improvements here. 
So first of all, my first impression after using it for almost four weeks or three weeks, <coughs> I have used it every day as my main camera bag. And what I like is that they have this quick opening uh, mechanism here. You just slide it sideways and it's open and it's, it closes down magnetically. So if I do this, it closes very quickly and it's, it's very nice. It comes with uh, two dividers, uh, which I took out, uh, but I have them somewhere here. Um, but this is how it looks inside. You know, it's green inside, which is good. So you can see where all your stuff is. Maybe you should grab some cameras here, but it does fit my D850 with the 28 1.4. And I can even put in uh, another lens or a Ricoh GR or something else. So there's space for that. Or you can put in a Nikon ZF or Fujifilm X-T4 or whatever and have enough space for, for multiple lenses. Oh, I just realized that I forgot to talk about this Pelican case here, uh, which I use only uh, when I do bigger jobs and I need to bring a lot of equipment and secure it. But this has nothing to do with Walton Craft, but I have the dividers in here. But yeah, it's kind of cool because it's yellow inside Ugh. and it has a lot of space. Here are the camera straps that we will talk about in a minute. So, so these are the dividers that are inside this bag, this messenger bag, and I haven't figured out how they actually work. Like you can see that they're very flexible. You can probably also fold them. This one, I can't really figure out what's the point, maybe to, to do this, you know, but they're nice. Flexible is always good. Uh, so it's very customizable. Then they also have this in here, which I'm not quite sure what this is for. Maybe to make this messenger bag more sturdy on the back, but I think it's for, for creating a compartment for an iPad maybe, because my 10 inch iPad does fit in here with this, with this layer here. Uh, it's a little hard to get in here, but once you do it, you, you can create an extra compartment for a laptop or documents. I appreciate having more space, so I leave it out. And if I want to bring uh, some documents or a book or something, then I can use this, this part here and actually have a little book here. You can bring a little portfolio, for example. I made a little book here of a project that I'm shooting currently um, to show it to people. A little notebook, business cards. So this is a good compartment to use. So, and then it has a nice handle here so you can grab the camera up from the ground. Did I say camera? I mean the, the bag. <laughs> and then uh, let me remove these uh, things here because maybe you want to see it, how it looks like uh, naked. So, and this is the view from the front. And uh, it also has uh, here a zipper that you can open. And then you have, it's hard to show probably, it's hard to see on camera, I guess, but you have two little spaces. Do you have spaces for batteries, basically? I put a pen in here. Uh, this is my battery compartment. I saw a review online, someone complained that this zipper here, when you open it, you sometimes get stuck here, which doesn't really happen for me, but you know what I do? I never even close this, I just leave it open. Because why not? There's nothing is going to fall out if you close your, your bag and you will never carry your bag like this. So uh, this allows me to quickly access my batteries. And then I really like how quickly you can close it. It's so satisfying. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> you also have some space here on the side. Uh, it's a little tight, but uh, what this is good for is uh, I, I throw in a GoPro, for example. Um, this is perfect for a GoPro or lens caps, maybe your keys, something that you want to quickly access and it's not super valuable to you. I guess keys are very valuable, but you will find use for it. Or maybe you can use this for a bottle, but it will be a little bit tight. But, oh yeah, it, it does work. So you can use it to carry a water bottle, but this is not where it ends. There are more features on this uh, sling bag messenger bag, first of all. You also have this here, uh, which I think is for, for carrying tripods. So you can use this to carry tripods or maybe a rain jacket. I will probably never use this, but it's good to know that you have this option. And uh, in terms of how it feels to use it, um, it has a very nice strap, I have to say. 
Um, first of all, it is very well uh, dampened or how do you say? Cushion, cushy, cushy, cushy. <laughs> it does feel very nice on my shoulder. You can wear it like that. Um, they also have this little uh, system here to change the, the length of this strap. You just pull this up and then you can do this. Now you have a very long strap or you do this and you make it short. So this is very cool. I re also really like how um, the straps here are not fixated, but they are, you can rotate them, which makes it you know, very easy for this bag to rest on your back. Bag wearing demonstration. So you can use it like this or you can put it like that. Sometimes I have it in front of me. If I want to quickly grab something, change lenses or whatever, or you can have it on your back. And it's very comfortable. You don't really feel the weight on your shoulder. And then you can adjust the length by doing this. <laughs> it's really cool. So now let's talk about these uh, add-ons, these accessories you can put onto this bag because they have these Oh man, I don't know the technical terms for a lot of these things because English is not my first language and I don't watch a lot of camera bag reviews. Um, but basically you have these, these hooks or these loops or these holes <laughs> where you can attach accessories onto it. And uh, they sent me some of these. And also I have, also I have this one here. Uh, this one is actually very cool. I use it uh, with my Temba bag, actually. For example, this one here is great to carry uh, ND filters. I have to use ND filters a lot. Currently, I have a cap in here, but it's the perfect size for a 77 or 82 millimeter filter. You can attach it onto it here. It just clicks in. Very simple. And you can also remove it very easily. And then this one here is a simple pouch which is actually the perfect size for a power bank i carry my power bank in here so this way you can uh, extend or expand the functionality of your bag i think with their two or three liter versions the smaller ones you have this on the side so you can buy a smaller bag and use these extra pouches uh, on the side uh, i kind of like it this way uh, maybe it's a bit too much i don't need this all the time i also don't need this one but to be real honest I like how it looks. <laughs> That's why I always have it on here because it, it just looks a little different. It looks like I'm on a mission and I like that. It's a nice feeling. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we also didn't talk about this here. Um, I used this once. It was very useful to me when I carried an, um, an umbrella. I was able to um, put it in here and have the umbrella uh, also tightly secured. And because I needed it a lot that day, I was able to quickly um, grab it again. Uh, I wouldn't trust, trust my tripod to, to be carried by only this, but you can find a use for it. Maybe uh, a, a very small, thin rain jacket could also fit in here. So this is the 7 liter Pilot Messenger. I like it a lot and I have a very specific use for it. Uh, recently I started um, working on a little longer project where I have to drive to multiple locations and uh, I have to be light and I'm, I'm bringing two cameras and this this is what I use for this project because I can I can have one camera in here have my other camera uh, around my neck and then have one extra lens and then you know this is all I need and if I need more I go back to my car and grab other stuff so now we have one more bag this is the pilot backpack from Walton Craft and you can see the front looks very similar to the messenger bag. Um, you also have these uh, hooks, loops, thingies. Uh, to be honest, I don't have so much experience with this because the, the moment uh, I got this uh, bag from Walton Craft, uh, I gave it to, uh, to David here, who's filming me right now, um, to try it out and, and use it because um, he does always come with me when I shoot these videos and he has also some camera equipment and I thought, hey, this could be the perfect bag for him to use uh, when we go on these shoots. So maybe you share some of your first impressions with us. So, ta-da! David is here. What are your first impressions of this? Uh, I forgot to mention, it's 18 liters. This is the capacity. Yeah, what do you think about it? So. I personally, I'm not in the market for camera bags, first of all. I, I, usually, I usually don't like camera bags. I have 
I never use a camera bag myself. I usually find them, I don't know, they look clunky and, and just weird. So in this case though, I, I appreciate the overall design. I'm also usually a function over design type of guy. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I think the design is just as, you know, equally as cool as, as the overall function, which we, I guess, get to. Yeah. In a minute. The overall impression, the first impression is, is really good. I like the design. As I said, it's, you know, it doesn't look as clunky. And what I also like is it's, it's subtle in terms of branding. There's no oh, yeah. visible branding or no visible logo or yeah. something like that. You have it here on this little yeah. leather piece, but you don't yeah, really exactly. see it, right? You have yeah. to really yeah, it's, look it's, at it's it. It's black on, on black. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, there's no visible branding, which I like personally. Yeah, me too. So that's cool. So when I first saw it, I thought it looks nice, but I think for, for a day to day, for every day bag, it's a little bit too big. Personally, I like smaller bags, but if this would be smaller, I would totally use it as my everyday bag. But I think this is great for basically it could replace my, sorry, <laughs> it, re it could replace my, you know, my first camera bag, this low pro bag, which is all for work. Uh, this can also be, I think, a, a bag that you can use for work or maybe for, for, for trips, for hiking, because I think you can also use this as a non-camera bag. The, the camera uh, compartment inside, you can, I think you can also remove it. Yes, you can fully customize the whole thing. It yeah. has, I don't know, an endless amount of dividers and to build <laughs> your own units, I, I, I felt like. So I didn't even make use of that. I'm, I'm yeah, usually a guy, as I said, I don't have experience with camera bags, so... <laughs> I, I use bags to just dump in everything I have in oh. it, and I'm not thinking in like modules or. Oh yeah, modules. you need more organization in uh, your life. <laughs> so I'm not used to that. So I cannot say a whole lot on that. But if you are again, if you are in the camera market game and uh, in the camera market, in the market for cameras and uh, units and building, I don't know, your own modules and that sort of thing, then you also just said camera market, not camera bag market. Yes. <laughs> and then you have side access, so maybe let's open this bag to see what's inside. You have. What's in here? Okay, so you have side access too. Uh, this is also the only access you get uh, to your camera. Um, what we also have is a camera compartment on top, which we also will look in a second. And this is now fully packed because I gave David also all these extra pouches and accessories, oh, it... which you probably haven't tried. <laughs> I didn't realize you can take them off. No. <laughs> See, so, I'm as unprepared as you. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> First impressions are always honest uh, or should be, so this is good. So, for example, they have these. These are also similar to what I have on my uh, messenger bag, you know. These are a little bigger, but you can put them on this bag here. And I don't know what would be the best configuration, but you can be creative with it. What we also can show is that all these pouches you can also use as individual small sl uh, sling bags. See, mm -hmm. they come with uh, their own straps. Yes. So you can use this as a very minimal um, yeah, pouch to, to carry a small camera or your, your wallet or something like that. So for that, it's also kind of cool. I don't know, maybe let's put them on here so that I don't need to hold them uh, to show you. Very easy. So, and then they just click into each other. Yeah, maybe this one, just this one. This here also feels way more robust than what you are used to with other bags. Yeah, Walton Craft also does use a lot of these uh, accent. Um, uh, they use leather as, a, as, as small ac accent parts. I don't know how to describe it, like this one here, yeah. which fe always feels very nice. So this could be enough space for my Nikon ZF, for example, in a small lens, or you can uh, put in a, a bigger lens here. I think on their website, they showed it that you can divide it like this, which I find, to be honest, a little weird. I would expect to have a divider like this, no. which might work better for what I want to use it for. So you could have it like this and two lenses and here the camera maybe. But um, they show this as an option. I have it folded uh, away so that I have one big uh, space here. Then also they have this, uh, which you can also uh, because it's uh, using uh, Velcro here, um, you can use it to maybe put in some batteries or cables, uh, which you can also use inside. Um, so there are many options. And then you also have this pouch here. There are so many pockets. Yeah, I, I feel overwhelmed by, by the many options. You yeah, have. which can be a good thing or a bad thing. I think the same goes for cameras. You don't need to use all the buttons uh, if you know what you're doing. 
you set it up for how you like it and then you never touch it again. And here on this other side you have your water bottle in here which uh, works well I guess for this. And oh you also have um, on the side you can also put this here on the, on the side. Yeah. Give me. <laughs> so if you don't like how it looks here on, on, on the top, uh, on the front, you can put this on the side. Uh, we should also mention the material. Um, I think you are familiar with this. Um, Cordura or something. What is it called? Mm -hmm. Cordura? 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 So Cordura fabric. Yeah, they use this uh, Cordura fabric, which I heard is very high quality material. Um, people who know about bags will probably know what it is. And uh, also the, all the zippers here are sealed. They have this um, rubber protection. See, even the zippers here, you know, they have these leather pieces and the logo as a button. Yeah, so, nice. oh yeah. YKK zippers. I heard that's the, that's the the best best shit. <laughs> so and then yeah, here on the right side you also have access. Similar story uh, with the other side. It might be a little tight for my D850 with a 28, uh, but that's what this compartment can be used for. Let's talk about this uh, top compartment. What is this? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some extra dividers. Oh, I guess you can use these on the on this top compartment here, or you could also use it on the side, I guess. Uh, we have some more stuff here you can put uh, inside. I think it's a little bit too much, but if you have a specific need for some type of equipment, then this is great. They have other uh, accessories as well. You should check the website to see what other options they have. And this is also cool that you get another compartment on top. This is uh, a lot of space. It could also carry probably my Fujifilm camera that I use for filming with, with the microphone. I could probably also put it in here uh, without having to deassemble it. Um, or you use one of these dividers and create your own little organizing system. And I feel like these dividers, I don't know if that's always the case, but they stick very I don't yeah. know, very much, very solid. The Velcro is very strong. It's very strong, yeah, indeed. Oh, there's also some side pouches here. I haven't seen this yet. This could be cool and useful for maybe a lens. So, and then it, of course, can also carry a laptop. You have a huge, very deep, all this. So behind this padding is, is a huge uh, laptop compartment, which goes all the way down to the bottom. Um, I guess it's, it will be very protective. <laughs> and you also have another zip compartment here. Oh, you actually put so, in some this stuff. This is why I said I'm lazy. I, I just dumped my camera in there <laughs> this okay, morning yeah. and then the rest in yeah. here and that's it. That's how I roll. Maybe if I can give one criticism for the size of this bag, I feel like, I mean, I haven't fully packed it yet with all, with all my lenses, but I, I have a feeling I can fit more in my low pro bag. But the downside, of course, is that look how you know thick it is. It's like carrying a, I don't know, it's, it's not the sexiest shape. <laughs> but it can carry a lot of big gear, you know? And I have a feeling this one, because it's 18 liter and has this slim profile, which is also nice, you know? It looks probably nice on the back, but I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit difficult to carry a big DSLR system. I guess once you have figured out your unit or the way you want to use it or yeah. customize it, then you're good to go. I don't know, is this meant also for all, for all purpose, for daily all purpose? I saw videos uh, where they were saying that that's their everyday backpack. Right. So maybe it's not meant for big camera missions, but they, all, they have uh, the photos on their website uh, show people in the jungle, you know, so right. I think for, for hiking. And this here is for, for if you want to bring a tripod. You also have uh, these straps on the bottom. Have you revealed, if you turn it around, hmm? have you, these are these, these two? What? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Ooh, okay. So more we just dis discovered more options. Uh, you also have uh, some uh, a, a zipper here on the side. And I don't... On the other side as well. Okay. Yeah, on the other side as well. And you can see you have one big... Uh, oh, this is cool because I just realized now that you can use one of these accessories um, and put them inside, you know, and then you have extra um, compartments for other stuff. But yeah, the, the zips and uh, the Velcro is very strong. 
Um, you also have another zip compartment here for this looks like the perfect size for a passport uh, maybe a wallet um, you can also see through which is cool you can see what's inside and I like that they're using green as an inside color and the other side is probably a oh yeah okay so the other side can also open and basically it's uh, they're sharing this one space so let's have a look uh, at the back, uh, padding seems to be very useful. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be helpful on a long hiking day. These uh, shoulder straps are also very thick. I think when I was carrying it at home, it felt very comfortable. And what it also comes with, with which is something we uh, detached, um, took off this bag, is uh, a waist uh, belt or waist strap, right? So this one just slides into this here, which I don't think I can, I don't think I can do it very quickly. Let me show it like this. So <laughs> you can slide it into here and then you have uh, a waist strap, which makes carrying this bag easier if you, if you uh, put in a lot of stuff. Um, speaking of carrying a lot of stuff, the weight of this camera bag, I have to say, it's not the lightest camera bag, right? When it's empty, you can, it feels always, to me, it always feels like something, something is in the bag, yeah, even though there is nothing in the bag. Um, so my other bags are a little lighter, but I have a feeling that all of these compartments, you know, and all these zippers and options and, and pouches, they just add to the weight. And uh, you're getting a bag that, you know, is very customizable can probably carry a lot of gear in a very organized way but the trade-off I think is that it's not the lightest bag like this one is also like this is empty it does feel a little lighter doesn't it maybe yeah. I mean it's not completely empty so it's not fair to do the comparison now so kind of relative but it's yeah. it has its own weight yeah that you notice so and it also comes in a different color uh, I think if you go on a photography adventure in the mountains, um, for sure, this is going to be a great bag for that. For day-to-day -day photography, for what I do, street photography, I don't need this much uh, organization and customizability. Customer, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool. It looks cool. It uh, feels very solid and it also has this uh, strap here to use it on a suitcase or a trolley. Let's show it demonstration time so you can do this that's and then good. yeah that's cool this is cool this is definitely useful is a cool feature. yeah which this one doesn't have which is always very annoying because i would do this then and try to do that but then it's not really tight all right see you later okay. <laughs> all right it is time to talk about camera straps Yay! so watercraft also sent me three of their new camera strap series they're calling it the parachuter camera strap and i have one here right now on my nikon zf um, and i also have this one here and this is a very unique camera strap and when i saw this i was like this looks kind of strange but it's also kind of cool then i realized that this is actually exactly what i was looking for in terms of the perfect camera strap because you know, leather feels nice on the, on the neck, it's soft and, and sturdy and it's warm. Uh, it's also kind of flexible, depend, depending on the leather. This one here is a little stiff, but this black one is very soft. And my problem with leather straps is usually that they are kind of stiff when you hold your camera. Like this one is also from Woltencraft. This one is very soft, so this is an exception, but uh, usually leather straps are very thick. Uh, and then what I like to do is, uh, you know, hold my camera like that and have the strap on, on the grip. And sometimes it can be a little stiff. When I saw this parachuter edition, which has a paracord uh, plus a leather piece. Of course, a paracord is very soft and flexible. So when you, when you use the camera, then the strap isn't in the way. It almost feels like you don't have any strap at all, which I like. But at the same time, you get, you get the premium feel of a leather strap. And I really like this one here. This is just black and has this gray paracord, um, which I think looks awesome on this gray, stone gray edition Nikon ZF. 
So I like this one a lot. And then um, they also sent me this one here, which has this uh, camouflage um, pattern. Also very cool. It has a green uh, camouflaged uh, paracord. Um, I might use this on my D850, I don't know. It feels very sturdy. I would trust it to hold well my, my heavy uh, DSLR. But I'm also very happy with their regular leather straps that I think I'm going to use this one on my D850, but I might do this, use this on my Fujis, or maybe David wants to use it, uh, we will see. Then they're also making uh, a wrist strap version of it. This one is their wrist strap, similar color pattern as my neck strap, and it kind of looks like um, handcuffs, you know? <laughs> it kind of looks like handcuffs or a little BDSM. <laughs> <laughs> thing I don't know it has a vibe definitely and um, so this design is actually inspired by a photojournalist uh, I forgot the name but I will show it here there's an article online uh, a really cool story so he made his own camera strap out of a parachute uh, cord and I think even a grenade split ring he was using that because it was a very soft strap minimal and it made the camera set up very small and compact. So Wotencraft saw that and made their own version of it and I think they did a good job um, by combining a regular camera strap, leather strap with, these, uh, with this paracord idea. I think that's all I can say. It's, uh, it looks good, it feels good, I recommend it. They're claiming that this uh, paracord is not going to get any mold, uh, no smell. I don't know how they do it but that's what they're claiming. They have a lot of different uh, color options for the string and for the leather. They also have a Peak Design Clip version, which you can also get if you have Peak Design Clips. I don't use them, I don't like them. I prefer these Kuda uh, split rings. This is another big reason why I love Wotencraft straps, because they use my favorite split ring company. So yeah, this is the Parachuter camera strap from Wotencraft. Check them out, link in the description. Now, if you want to win your own parachuter strap or you want to win a pilot messenger bag. Wotencraft and I are doing a giveaway and uh, future Samuel is going to tell you all about it. So you want to win a little pilot messenger bag 7 liter? How about a parachuter neck strap or a wrist strap? Then put down those potato chips and listen up. There's a link in the video description that goes to my website that has step-by-step -step instructions. First of all you have to follow both of our Instagram accounts then you take a photo of your camera setup that you want to use with the pilot messenger bag or a parachuter strap. You then share this on your Instagram story, but make sure to tag both me and Wotencraft. Also make sure to include hashtag Wotencraft and let us know what price you want to win. Wotencraft is going to save your story post in a highlight on the Instagram page and after a week they will announce the winners. And as a final step, we ask you to sign to our newsletters. You will find the links on the giveaway page. All right, good luck you all and uh, thank you Wotencraft for making this giveaway possible. So, there you have it. This was my little camera bag special video. Thank you Wotencraft again for sending me these awesome bags, these awesome straps. Uh, I like them a lot and check out the giveaway. And I think I'm going to put some links to other bags I mentioned here in the video. Uh, let me know how you use camera bags. Do you use? Do you use camera camera bags or do you use bags and make them your camera bag? Um, I think it's bags in general are an interesting topic. I'm not a bag nerd, but, but the feeling of using a very well thought out bag that works perfectly for what you're doing, uh, it's an amazing feeling and I'm so glad that I found uh, bags that work for what I do. So that's that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Geh mir einen Kaffee trinken? <lacht> es, ist, es ist kalt. Das habe ich jetzt nur fürs Video gesagt, ne? Du kriegst keinen Kaffee, ne? Spaß. <lacht>